here is the board as it appeared when it was presented to me. There's so much solder and flux left over there that you really can't tell what's going on, but the through holes and pads were torn. DCS soundboard from a Corvette and somebody had attempted to replace the two 10,000 microfarad filter caps for the positive and negative voltages that the amplifier needs. And you can see that this through hole pad has been torn completely off. And on the other side of the board, it's torn completely off there also. And here also, well, this, these two, they managed to get out without tearing the holes completely. You can see the glare inside the holes, and I'll buzz those just to make sure they do go through. But these two on the left are going to need repair. Since I have my rivet press finally finished, video to follow on that, I've been using rivets to repair through holes. On the bench now with the Corvette DCS soundboard that the client indicated was making a loud buzz when uh, it was at his house. So somebody had tried to replace these two big filter caps and they'd torn the through holes. Anytime there's a loud buzz on a DCS soundboard, that is the prime suspect. So I've replaced a bunch of one microfarad uh, caps also. There's one 100 microfarad cap on here somewhere I replaced just for good measure. There it is. These were originally, what were they, one microfarad 63 volt caps and they are directly in the sound path. And sometimes those can cause sound problems. That wasn't the problem with this board, but uh, the main, the, the problem with this board was the torn through holes. <laughs> Pretty good. So this board is good to go. I thank you so much for sending it.